Hello everyone. Okay, this is the biggest test because I'm hoping that these lights behind me are not flickering. We are back for the new year and today's video, because you clicked on it, you already know, is a house tour and I'm so excited. Um, if you guys know, I bought this land years and years and years and years ago and we just kind of sat on it for a while and then a few years ago we started designing the house with an architect and then we had to find a builder. It was just a really long process. We finally found a builder and then there were delays with building materials. It was just a whole thing. So it's been such a long process. It ended up being during one of the most expensive times to build ever. Materials were skyrocketing, like it's it was just a whole thing. So I am just so grateful, thankful, so happy to finally be here in our house. We've done it, we've moved in. I'm so happy here. I love the house. And of course it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but if you do like, you know, what I've done with the place, I will list below everyone we use, like all of our tradies, where we got everything. I'm an open book. I'm not gatekeeping. You can literally copy my house if you want. If there's like certain looks, certain tiles you like, <laughs> certain carpet you like, like go for it, honestly, because I'm obsessed with everything. And of course I would not be here without you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me on this journey. I literally, I would never think I'd have a house like this in my entire wildest dreams growing up. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so excited to have Porter grow up in this house. And I don't know, every space I look at, I just think about the future. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till Porter's older and do his homework in my office with me while I work. And just like, I don't know. I look at the like lawn and I'm like imagining him when he's older playing on the lawn. And uh, I'm just so thankful guys, like you guys, have just made all of my wildest dreams come true. I've worked bloody hard, don't get me wrong, but I am where I am because of you amazing, beautiful people, and I'm so thankful. And I hope you know how thankful I truly, really am. What a beautiful life I have. I'm so, so lucky. And if you have any further questions as well about anything in the house, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will answer the comments or I will post some more information on my Instagram. I'm going to do a whole nother set of stories just going in depth about some of the stuff in the house as well over on Instagram so follow me over there. And this is not supposed to be like a brag of any kind. This house like I said it's beyond what I ever thought that you know we would have in our lives but I do constantly get questions when I'm showing like pictures and just random stuff like that on my Instagram. I get questions every single time like about what this is called, where this is from, who I used for what. So I just really hope that this video is interesting and helpful. So let's start in the like front entrance of the house. You'll notice me doing this with the camera a lot because I couldn't friggin figure out the settings so you could see the view and inside at the same time because hello camera problems. But you can see the view from the front door, which is so special. And then you can see the stairs are just here as well. And to the left, there's a hallway. Um, but we're going to start with this room straight ahead towards that view. This is a better look at the view from the room. Now, this is like a downstairs lounge, like movie space, chill space, whatever. And I love this room so, so much. It's a lot cozier now because we've actually put couches in here. There's a sneak peek at the end of this video. Um, but... This is a little overview, so there's quite a lot of doors out of this room, um, but yeah, it works. So first we've got this cupboard, which I'll probably just pop like cushions and blankets and stuff like that, to be honest. Um, it's just storage, just whatever. There was space for storage there, so we just popped in some shelving, and I'm sure it'll come in handy for something or other. And then we've got this display shelf, so let me know what you guys think I should put on there. At the moment, I've got a couple of plants on there, but... I don't know, I need some inspo. And then we've got this like built-in cabinet down the bottom um, with this like stone bench top. It's so, so beautiful. I'm obsessed. And you'll see throughout the house, there's like a bit of a theme with the furniture and everything that we've inbuilt. And I just love the look of inbuilt furniture. And you know, in the future, if we really get sick of anything, you can change the cupboard colors or change the bench tops or whatever to make it feel fresh. But I just feel like this is so timeless for us and we just love it so much. Um, so underneath this cabinet, all of these open as well. So once again, heaps of storage. Not a clue what I'll put down there for now. Like we've got a baby, so probably nothing too hectic. We've also got some really nice display lights up, which 
which look really, really good on at night for a cozy vibe. They're really nice from Lighting Direct. And then there's a couple of doors on this wall, left to right, you can see. So the one on the left, this is that room. And this is my new beauty room, which one of my next videos will be us unpacking everything and putting it all away. It might be a two or three part series, but I'm so excited. I love this room. It's got really great natural lighting, which is perfect for our beauty channel, you know? Cute little view outside as well. I'll show this a little bit later, but we've got a lime tree, avocado tree, and a lemon tree. The avocado tree is probably going to come out because Hamish didn't realize how huge they get, but he wanted to buy me one, which was the cutest thing ever. He went shopping for trees and he was like, Shannon will love an avocado tree, but they get really, really big guys. So, you know, that'll probably come out, but... Here's another look at the room. We've got all of these shelves as well. What should I put in them, guys? This will kind of be like the background of my new videos. So I'm kind of hyped. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then for the bench tops, we've done this marble kind of, I don't know, effect. And I can write down below what all of the bench tops are called and everything if you are curious. All of the drawers, soft clothes, they will have double layers. You'll get a better chance to look at this when we do film the next video of, you know, organizing this space. So... I'm really excited for that actually. I can't wait. I went with the meringue colored drawers, like the cabinets and then black handles just to keep it classic with the marble top. And it's kind of like a white slash gray with like a nude kind of color because our walls are kind of like a nude as well. I'll write down the colors down below, all of the paint colors so you can find them easily. They're all by Razine. Here's another look at the view from my filming room which is so lovely I'm so lucky and then from there we have a sliding door as well just because I wanted one so I could go in and outside get some fresh air and for all of our decking we chose outdoor we love it love 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 it there's like no maintenance involved there's a bug on the windscreen by the way that's what I'm pointing at here it is so gorgeous guys holy crap and it's so soft on your feet like there's no splinters and it's just stunning and it's really, really good out in the weather. That's an overview of my filming space. I do want to get a nice big like rug. I want to get a mirror kind of on this wall here. So if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear from you. I had one at home like in my last room, but it was just a bit too big for the space. I felt like I want something a little bit smaller, but some kind of mirror there to take like outfit videos or photos or whatever. And then next up, I'll just show you behind. So this is behind behind where I'll be sitting like you might see this in the background oh that's our Renai ducted aircon by the way there's another friggin bug um I'll talk more about this later in the video but love so our whole house is heated by Renai we've got this walk-in wardrobe behind me here this I wanted to be a decent size so I could have you know accessories handbags sunglasses hair tools um spare makeup makeup for donations clothes that I don't really wear in real life but you know clothes that I like to wear in videos because they look cool on camera all of that kind of thing so that it's separate from my main wardrobe upstairs in our bedroom that way you know if I'm trying to get dressed for the day I can kind of figure out where my clothes are like my real life everyday clothes versus if I'm getting ready for a video it's all kind of down here if that makes sense and also you know in the far future if we want to turn this into another bedroom for Porter or whoever you know it's set up to be like a Mintaz bedroom and we can just remove the cabinetry out of the main space. So there's actually so much storage in here, which is handy. Now let's go next door. So next door is my editing room or my office. Yay, I've got a whole separate space. I'm no longer shoved into the corner of my living room. <laughs> it was so important for me when I was, you know, getting this house designed and everything to have an office that's separate to my filming room so that I can move about a bit during the day, but also, you know, its own space. So this is so lovely and I feel like I'm already more productive when I can actually get a moment to edit <laughs> when I'm not looking after the baby and everything. It's just so lovely and cozy. So I've got all of the storage on the left here. I'll put like, you know, any filing, printers, camera gear, tripods, just all of that kind of thing so that it's got a space in a home. I've got heaps of drawers that I can put whatever I need to in them. I've got a nice big window. It is on the darker side of the house, but I've got so many strip lights underneath the desks. And then we've done the same 
cabinetry and bench tops as in my beauty room because I wanted to keep it cohesive you'll see in the rest of the house there's like some different colors but I wanted to keep it light and bright on the side of the house the bench is so huge as well that when Porter gets older he'll have a space in here to do his homework and play games if he wants or whatever so now let's go back out to the front entrance so you just saw in that lounge space that goes through to my office and bedroom so I'll show you what's down the immediate left side so this door is usually shut we keep it shut off so the dogs don't go down there and get a messy or anything like that down the hallway we do have lots of storage this is me showing you back towards the stairs and just doing a little spin around so there are four doors down at this little hallway it's kind of like the guest quarters slash Hamish's quarters <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it quarters that sounds way flasher but you know the first door on the left here is Hamish's office if he's working from home instead of going into the office that day it's also got all of his gear his music stuff just everything his man cave if you will so he's gone for the concrete look top with the kind of oak um, cabinetry which you will see themed throughout the home you kind of saw a little bit of it in that, that bottom lounge before and then in his wardrobe we've done shelves and rails so that you know if it's ever a bedroom down the track there is space for that person's stuff um also I thought Hamish could put his suits and stuff in here that he doesn't use that often if he ever needed to but he doesn't really need to because our wardrobe upstairs is huge guys so not too much to see here it's just drawers once again I think he's done like deeper drawers than me in my office but you know whatever he's got strip lighting as well um heats of storage guys I don't even think we'll ever fill up this much storage but you know it's just better to have than just having empty space right so that is the room he's also put a couch on this back wall now which looks really nice um and Louis loves to sit there while Hamish works so that's that and then if we come out and go left this is the guest bathroom which will make sense because the guest bedroom is also down this end of the house this is how the carpet and the tile kind of gets finished together as well which looks really lovely I thought so I thought I'd just show you that because I know a lot of people think it's weird that we've done like mixtures of tiles and carpets but you know it's just what we liked so inside we have heated towel rails from abi interiors absolutely stunning you saw my vlog where we did like a little haul unboxing haul of all our abi stuff you've probably seen it already so it's really cool to see it actually installed in the house now that was a little 360 of the space it's actually a decent sized bathroom we have tiles floor to ceiling we did like a finger tile look with the big floor tiles that you'll see throughout the house as well. You would have seen them like at the front door and then you'll see them all up in the kitchen. Then we've got that same oak color cabinetry with loads of storage and a little platform where I've put towels and things on top of now. And then the sinks and the hardware and everything once again are ABI interiors. I'm obsessed with the sinks. We did use the same ones throughout the house like bathrooms and they are so beautiful they don't get all like crappy um, and dirty real easy like just the way that the water flushes out they clean themselves really well and they wipe down really really well they're stunning they feel so good like the texture of them they're kind of like a matte look I don't know I'm obsessed and then we did huge mirrors and a little statement light as well I'm so happy with all of the finishings I just feel like it looks so pretty and this downstairs bathroom is kind of my light and bright bathroom because you'll see soon our ensuite we wanted to be a little bit more moody and sexy but I don't know I just love the vibe we also have this huge bathtub which will be perfect for Porter as he grows older and it's got a little shelf against the back of it because we didn't have room for a different shelf really without like cluttering the bathroom so you know you can set your body wash on there or whatever and there's no sharp corners in here so it makes it easy to clean the inside of and then it's something else to look out for when you are buying a bath is one that goes all the way to the ground like this and doesn't kind of scoop in because if it scoops in it's a dust trap this one goes straight to the ground so it's easy to wipe around and clean around and there is like a decent size gap to get in behind and clean in that gap as well so just some things to remember when you're choosing a bath and in here we have the guest shower so once again the abi fittings like the shower head and everything is from there and we did finger tiles with a gray grout our tiles throughout the whole house are from layer design they are pretty local and Steph from layer design was just the best to deal with because I was I don't know I had all these inspiration photos and I couldn't quite narrow it down and you know she just was a huge help and she helped us with the grout as well so we did a gray grout here rather than white because white gets so stained so easily so that was thanks to her and it came out looking beautiful 
Um, we've got glass doors on the showers and everything to get the water in, of course. And that's basically the bottom bathroom, you know, overview. I love it. It's so stunning, you guys. I feel like in person, it's even better. And then next door to that, we just have a toilet. So, so it's in a separate space. It's not in the bathroom. So if someone's using the shower and someone needs to use the bathroom, you know, it's separate. And there's a little sink in here. And, you know, it's just lovely. Just nice little toilet situation. Perfect for guests, whatever. Perfect for us if we're downstairs and don't want to run all the way upstairs to use the bathroom, you know? And let me tell you, we got these toilets. I can't remember for how much, like, I don't know, 700 bucks or five, I don't know. Regardless, we were going to buy the exact same ones from a different place for $3,000 each. Well, we weren't actually. We got the quote back. It said they were three grand each. And we were like, what? No, because we needed three toilets. So we found them cheaper online. I'll link them below. They're amazing toilets and they're rimless. So they're easy to clean. Anyways, next door to that, we have the guest bedroom, guys. So this is where any of our guests come to stay. We do have guests, not all the time, but you know, we have friends coming to stay from different cities. My mum comes and stays, you know, if we've had some drinks, it's nice to have a place for people to crash. So this is just the guest bedroom. I wanted to put it here so I had a nice, beautiful view. Um, and it could always just be a regular bedroom later on in life. Out this window here is where the spa will be. I'll show you that a bit later. And then there's also a huge sliding door to the left there from this angle you can see. Here it is. This is the sliding door so they can access the deck and outdoors and spa or whatever. Um, and it's just cool because it's such a good view, you know. Once again, we have a wardrobe. I did put some shelves and rails in here just for the same reason. So people have different variation in places to put things in if it's a bedroom later on. I don't know. I find shelves so handy, you guys. You can put stuff in baskets on them and whatever. That's just what I like to do. And I'm all about storage, clearly. <laughs> um, there's a little closer look at out the window, like the spa pad we're still gonna move that <laughs> um and yeah back out into the hallway towards the stairs towards the front door that's how it's all kind of laid out these stairs are my pride and joy guys if you watched on my instagram stories you know we're trying to brainstorm how we can make them look and i love how they turned out you can view the process on my highlight it's the home highlight on my instagram all right down this little hallway so if you went through the front door and turn right there is a lift where i just pointed that's for accessibility in the future people always think i'm bougie af because i have a lift it is just something we felt good to future proof and this is like a little mudroom cupboard thing we will put shoes dog leashes school bags raincoats anything like that so it's nice and tidy and organized because at our old house if you remember my vlogs all our shoes were thrown in a pile at the front door and it was just not a vibe so we've got a place for that now because to the right from here is the garage we will come through you know when we park in the garage so it's kind of accessible from the front door or the garage but this is the laundry i'm so excited i've never had a laundry before we always had our stuff just in the garage so this is an actual laundry how cool and we've done white with this simple white kind of backsplash slash countertop look nice big sinks this is the close-up of the countertop it's actually really pretty this was one of the more like um basic kind of beach tops we chose for the house but it's still really hardy and good for the laundry and I think it's so pretty still um nice huge sink and lots of storage once again and this tap is from ABI as well and it pulls out so you can clean every crevice of anything you can clean the crevices of the sink oh essential love such a good touch at first i was like oh i wish i went with like gum metal sinks and everything but honestly the black looks fine because we've got the black joinery and black details throughout the home so i'm used to it now but at first i was like oh shit have i made a mistake um we've got a washer and dryer we did fisher and pikel for most of those things and a little cupboard up here which will put stuff Honestly, there's that much friggin' storage, but I'm sure eventually throughout our life, you know, we'll have lots of things to put places and with the kid, you know. Um, and we've got our garage. I'll show you that at the very end, but you can kind of see what I mean. Like if you come through the lifts right there, it's handy for shopping too. When you chuck your groceries and stuff in there, so you don't have to lug it up the stairs. Game changer. Um, it's a really basic lift. I do show you that later too. Anyway, so that's the whole bottom story. These the stairs once again. We've got lighting on them. They're really cool. The lighting's perfect too for the dogs at nighttime so they can go down the stairs, you know, because 
you know, they don't see in the dark, do they? I don't know. They don't go down unless the lights are on. So I'm so glad we did all those lights. And one of my things I wanted for this home was a nice sized entrance area, which you can see we did. There's also this big door here, by the way. This is in the lounge again, but you can shut that off. We shut it off when we're not down here, just so that the dogs don't sit in there because we like to know where the dogs are and this house is a bit bigger and, you know, it's just handy to be able to lock off rooms. Uh, this is rock coat. How cool. Um, we did this whole wall in rock coat. It's just like a textured look because I love texture. Love, 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 love. I just love the look. So yeah, let's go upstairs. We worked with our joiner to do these stairs. He did such a great job. So the first stack is kind of normal and then the second stack is floating. We've also got a feature light up here. Here's the floating stairs. Um, just lets a bit more light in and it's just interesting to look at. It's such a huge feature of the house. So I wanted to spend a bit more money on these stairs and like do something unique and cool. Um, and we did the oak as well. The oak look, I don't know if it's actual oak or oak look. I don't even, I can't remember. Dude, this house has been such a journey. <laughs> anyway, you get to the top landing, it's all tiled and we've got this cool joinery and wood slat look, a really cool big window, which I'm thinking of putting a chair near there. Um, and here's a look backwards at the feature lighting, the rock coat, and just the glass and how it all came together. I'm so happy with it. What we're looking at there is the lift shaft, by the way, the bit that sticks out. There's the window again. So here's how the lift looks anyway. So there's a little button, it opens, you pull it, and it's just like a floating carpet. So you don't want to lean against the walls when you're in there. You kind of just stand there and go up and down. And it's very simple. Don't get me wrong, it's flash AF. Who the hell thought I'd ever have a lift in my house? But once again, just for that future-proofing element, I already have dodgy knees, guys. They're dicey. I'm so nervous one day Hamish or I will, you know, need a bit more accessibility in our home for any which reason. Or one of our family members, our parents, you know, with aging and everything. Or, God forbid, anyone has an accident. I don't want to have to move out of this home. I want to be able to access everything. Accessibility is so important. And I hope it becomes way more mainstream in homes around New Zealand and the world because I just think you know we need that in our lives and it just helps everyone out anyway so when you're in here and you look back you can see the view again and this is like our main area we like to entertain we've done tiles everywhere but we will pop in some rugs and things um but I wanted it to be tiled because I just feel like it's so much easier to clean in this kind of space like where the dogs and we're hanging out and food and all that I just I like tiles and dude look how huge the tiles are they're stunning oh what my god everyone compliments these tiles I will link like once again I'll link it below where I got them because copy me guys I'm not gatekeeping here we've got these cool inbuilt features here with concrete we love the concrete and I'm going to soften up the space with blankets like throws and you know, um, what are they called? Pillows, <laughs> cushions, and just like, you know, all of those types of things to balance the space out. Cause right now, obviously it feels a little bit like clinical, I guess, but with the fire on dudes, this is Renai again, and it is sexy dude. What the heck? This is a 100 million percent worth the addition into the home. It's so sexy. I love it. Can't wait to like put up cute Instagram posts next to it. Um, especially during winter. Here's a look at the view again. We did huge windows throughout the space so you could really make the most of the view. Um, and we do have curtains in at this stage. They got put in after I filmed this. So check out my vlogs to see how we did all of our curtains. I will do a whole video like showing everything. But here's another little 360. Um, tons of sliding doors. Here's our Renai. So we've got the ducted um, like heat pump system, guys. Renai was like our first choice. They do Wi-Fi standard on all of their like heat pumps and everything. So it's all so user friendly. It controls basically the, this whole top level. We've got one up top and down bottom. So all of our heating just stays consistent throughout the house. So nice. Oh, and that's for cooling as well. Um, and now I'm showing you our little pantry. Well, it's not little, is it? It's freaking huge. It's actually almost too big. But I figure as Porter gets older, he'll start eating more. He'll have snacks galore, so we'll fill it up one day, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's got all of our appliances and things in it as well. Like I've put like blenders, juices, sandwich presses, toasters, like all of that kind of stuff in here and storage, all of our Tupperware, all of that kind of thing. That all goes in here. I don't know what to put in this corner one though, guys. What do you recommend? I don't know what to put just here. I've got all of our food up on the top levels. I don't have any food down the bottom here, but I don't know. What do you guys think? And then we've got like these shelves. I've got like coffee and stuff and the microwave, microwave. 
Um, and then hello, that view. I can't stop zooming in on it. I love that little red barn. It's so cute. And then in the kitchen, we've got this like display shelf just because I thought it was cool to put some knickknacks, but I don't actually know what to put there now. And Porter's climbing. So yeah, we've got our first aid kit up there. That's where I've put the first aid. I feel like it's such a good spot. And then here's a little overview of the kitchen. Now, everyone, when I was designing this house with the architect, everyone was like, why would you put your kitchen up here? Dude, we spend so much time in the kitchen, even though we don't even cook. We literally just like love to do platters and well, we do cook, that's a lie. But you know, we don't cook all the freaking time. The reason is because we always have friends over, we have drinks, we entertain, we have platters. And this is all where we kind of always end up congregating. I don't know what it is. It's just, it is what it is. So we want a dining space and kitchen in here so that we can all enjoy the view while we enjoy each other's company. We've got this gorgeous new fridge. This is a Fisher and Paykel. And we've got cupboards up top as well that open. So I'll probably put stuff up there we don't need that often. Like, I don't know, Christmas, um, Christmas things. <laughs> I don't know why I decided on Christmas. Who knows? Um, here's a look on the inside of the fridge. So the bottom space is freezer. I think you can actually turn part of the freezer into another extra fridge space if you want though. But to be honest, we need the freezer space. Um, it's a cool fridge. I really like it and it's sleek. It's slick. It looks sexy. I believe these are head itch and we use head itch for like a lot of our, what would you even say? It's like the behind the scenes stuff, like our push to opens and like wardrobe attachments and accessibility stuff and just I don't know they're such a cool brand I'll link them below anyways um but we've got like a little cutlery and built thing here which is very sexy as well I'm sorry like this whole vibe is just oh I'm obsessed like I love this I love that wood look as well on the cabinetry it's like not too warm but it's warm enough where it's warm against the gray countertop the rock the stone I guess it's called We've got bins inbuilt. We've got the like hidden dishwashers. It's all sleek and tidy and there's a place for everything because if you've seen my vlogs and seen my old house, there was no room for anything. We outgrew that house years ago and it was just a shit show. It was a pigsty and it made me go mad. There's some place for everything in this house and it's sleek and simple and discreet and hidden like as in, you know, the bins are discreet, for example, and like everything has just got a place. I'm obsessed, guys. I am going to be just, I'm not going to know myself. This oven too, it's so wide. How cool is that? I mean, I need to use it more now. I'm going to have to start being like a baking mum or like a, 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 I don't know, a chef, a home chef. We're going to learn how to cook in 2023, guys. I mean, I'm not a bad cook. You guys know that if you watch my vlogs, but like, I don't know. I'm obsessed. I got induction as well. I'm so excited. And this really cool, like, what are they called? The thing that sucks up all the smoke. And it, like, is so quiet. It's so cool. And we've got a bar. It's hidden. Oh, my gosh. And it's different. So you can have it open and display it. So we have this open where we've got friends over. And it's got, like, LED lighting and these cool tiles. And then, like, when you don't want to see that, you just shut the cabinet. And it looks like the rest of the kitchen. Oh, my gosh. If you're designing a dream house, copy me. Trust me, it's so worth it. How cool are these tiles? They're like little circle ones. And with the rest of the house, we went very square, rectangle, angular. So we just decided to really contrast in this space. And I love how when you move around, like they reflect light because they're like little bubbles. Like, isn't that cool? I think I'll change this little plate from the power outlets to a black as well. And then we've got mirrors up the top, which you can actually see the view bounce back. And we've got glasses up there now. And it just, oh, it's so cool. And we've done a bar fridge which I'm glad we did because we always fill up our fridge all the time so we can put our drinks in there 10 out of 10 I'm so happy and we had a interior designer kind of person draw up all of our custom cabinetry the bar help us choose colors and stuff like that and she was amazing her name's Nicola Ross and I highly recommend talking to her if you are designing a dream space or doing renovations and you just want a professional she is 10 out of 10 and made the process much easier because I tend to like get overwhelmed and start getting too many ideas so it was really helpful to talk to someone about it now from the living space there was that door and this is where the door goes into our master kind of area so we've got our bedroom down here with the view people think it was weird that we had the master next to the living space to us it's not weird dude it's fine we're so happy with this choice it means we also got a view and what else would you put here you know I don't know we wanted a view in our bedroom 
but didn't really care about having a balcony out here because we wouldn't really use it outside the bedroom. We kept that for the living space. We have inbuilt storage, inbuilt side tables. We have this cool feature on the back wall, which I can link below for you. It's actually like pre-made boards which is so cool and then heading back towards the lounge on our left down this hallway we have our master ensuite bathroom this is a his and hers bathroom i'm so happy with it and this is the dark moody sexy ensuite and it looks like you'd always have to have the lights on or something but it's just the filming honestly in real life it's not this dark um it's dark and moody but it's not dark like i could do my makeup in here if i wanted to without the lights on you just need the lights on at night time it's fine we've got the toilet again just everything an ensuite has except it's so cool and there's lots of storage and here's a 360 i am obsessed we use the same cabinetry color as in our bar just to carry it through um which is like the blackened wood look i don't know and we've done just tiles everywhere and we did some black tiles on the ground and then the ones that are on our walls other ones from the floor and the other spaces to tie it together. This is the same ABI sink from downstairs and we've got a his and hers so we've both got one sink each because we always used to fight over the sink when we get rid of a bed. So hello bougie and I've made my camera all laggy so you could kind of see the shelves in here. This is so handy we can put all of our products in here, colognes, perfumes, towels, just anything, toilet paper. And then we've got storage underneath as well. I show you that middle one because you can see it a little bit better, but it's so good. We've got like a little space each where we kind of put all of our day-to-day -day skincare products um, over the sink, you know. So lots of storage once again and nice and easy to clean underneath those cabinets. And here's a close-up of the sink, same as downstairs, like I said. And we did this huge, huge mirror that goes left to right across the room and this little tray up top, which you can put plants. Um, it's probably gonna get dusty, but we've got a stool to clean out there. But yeah, I think I'll put some like hanging plants up there. My friend actually bought me one for our house warming, so that was so cute. And it's meant to thrive in like the bathroom environment. So if you've got any other plant recommendations for the space, let me know. And then this is the shower. We've got a his and hers because yeah, then we can both have one each when we have a shower together. I don't know. It's not everyone's taste, but that's what we like to do. <laughs> Um, and we've got a little inbuilt area for all of our shampoo, conditioner, body wash, whatever. I love the shower so, so much. These are the mixes to turn on the shower here. They had to go on that wall for some reason. I can't remember why, just the plumbing. It was just how it worked out. And the shower has the two-in-one, just like downstairs as well. We just got the same ones and they are lovely. And I love this, like that little spout I just showed, the like rectangular one. So nice. And that's how you switch between the dumper above and then the normal shower head. Then we've got the same toilets again. I love these toilets. They are bloody clean and fresh looking. And then the last door here is our walk-in wardrobe. And this is the darkest room in the whole house. There's no natural light. So zing. Strip lighting. Honestly, I feel so fancy when I come in here. And I specified that I wanted all of the wardrobes to go all the way to the roof. We've got a laundry chute there. If you go back to the beginning of the vlog, you can see it in the laundry and the roof. Um, I wanted everything to go to the ceiling so there was no dust traps and also just maximize that space. So we've got these things where you can pull it down the rail. I think these are by Hetich, are they? I think so. And yeah. How good's that? So you can store clothes up high, but obviously you're not going to be able to reach them. So you just pull that down and it's easy peasy. Life changing. There's heaps of drawers in here as well. And this meant that we didn't need drawer sets in our main bedroom. So our main bedroom can say super simple. It's just our bed. We've got our inbuilt little TV cabinet. We've got our inbuilt side tables. We don't need shelving in there. So all of our clothes and everything go straight in this room. And it just, oh, it's just changed the game. It's so much more tidy. There's a full length mirror and then behind the mirror there's more storage for more shoes or accessories and you put stuff in baskets whatever there's a big huge cupboard above this too um where i might put like winter blankets and things and that you don't need year long and it's just amazing i'm so so happy there's drawers down the bottom there as well against the ground there's just tons so that's the walk and wardrobe and then coming out again we're back into the living room and we just have that door shut all the time so how good's that i am just so thankful and just oh I can't even begin to tell you. Um, here's another look at the living space up here with the doors open. Um, and it goes out into another outdoor deck with the clear balustrades. Those are by Viridian. Um, and the view. 
and the clear glass fence out the front to keep the dogs in because it kind of looks like it's a cliff but it's not a cliff exactly I show you later in the video so glass everywhere so you keep the view and here's a look from the outside on the outdoor deck it is stunning I will list the color that we went for in the down bar if you are curious I really am happy with the color and then we've got cedar exterior on our house. We use cedar strea and plaster. It's all got cavities and everything. So it's all done properly to prevent water damage. It's double glazed up to New Zealand building standards, of course, because <laughs> you want to get that code of compliance and everything. We've got lighting up here just for like a cool mood when we're sitting out there. And we do plan on getting some really cool outdoor furniture at some stage. We're just looking for some still. So that's the plan. But I love the colors used so so happy so we're back in the foyer above the stairs and here we have a another room this door stays shut most of the time once again pretty much all the doors just say stuck that stay it shut all the time just to keep the dogs like in the central areas that we are but here's how it looks with the door shut and once again i think i'll put a chair here I don't know what do you guys think let's have a look in this room this room is our media room and there's also a storage room off to the left of it i want to know do you see your favorite board game here and I want to know, do any of you have a bigger board game collection than Hamish and I? Um, not like it's a competition, but we must be up there. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a couple. So we've got our board games here and also we will pop in just, you know, storage stuff. So blow up bed suitcases. What else have we got in there? Stationery, gift wrap, um, random cables for things boxes I don't know just like just stuff it's just our like junk cupboard and board game cupboard because it's nice and accessible because we usually play board games on the dining table which will be in that main kitchen room place um but this here is our media room so we were gonna put like a huge couch and a huge tv in here and watch movies in here but I think what we're actually gonna end up doing is turning into a bit of a playroom for Porter um this is the carpet by the way we got a full builders clean like we spent like so much money getting the house cleaned and I didn't even like I noticed that the room wasn't that clean like the whole house wasn't that clean but look at the carpet dude there's crap all through it like did they even vacuum I'm kind of pissed anyway I was trying to show you the texture of the carpet there but it didn't really work because the focus was all weird but there's lots of storage in here too because why not I just like the look of the cabinetry and so you may as well chuck in some storage you know we could put whatever in here and it doesn't even have to be filled with anything. It's just like a nice look. We've got the slats on the other side, little bench top. There's storage all under here. And we do have a TV in here now. And we put like a huge TV in that downstairs lounge. Because I feel like that's real cozy down there. The one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, and we can watch movies down there. Like this was going to be the movie room. But I feel like, you know, if we're all hanging out in the lounge. And, you know, the kids are a bit older. We've got a few kids around. You know, they can hang out in here. It's just next door to where we'll be. It's nice and easy to see what they're up to. And you know, it's safe. So yeah, that's that room anyway. It's a really nice little cozy room. And then if you come out of there and go straight ahead, here's the stairs again, the cool light, go past the lift shaft. Love that shaft. And then we're going to go down here. So we've got a linen cupboard here, which is perfect to put all of Porter's linen and hand towels for the little um, toilet we've got here I'll show you soon but first this is Porter's room cool light right this is from lighting direct I loved it it goes perfectly with his wardrobe we did like a little colorful moment for his wardrobe it actually doesn't have doors I love it like this <laughs> you can add them later if you want but I chose not to so he's got his inbuilt you know clothing racks drawers once again these are really nice I love the little like grayish kind of handle with it it actually looks so nice and then I've put stuff in baskets like up the top and everything and toys and display and it's just like a nice little area. It looks really cool. And then we've got heaps of space. He's got his change table and chair and everything in there already. I'll probably do a nursery tour once it's all complete because I just love this room so much. It's probably my favorite room in the whole house. It's a really special place. And then just next to it is our powder room. So guests and ourselves use this throughout the day. Um, and also it's a perfect spot because when Porter's older and toilet trained, like if he's still living upstairs, which he will be till he's like older, you know, it's the perfect place for him just to brush his teeth and go toilet before bed and stuff like that. And the storage just where I pointed as well. And the inspiration for this room was kind of like a hotel vibe. So we've got slats, the cool lighting. It looks so much cooler at night as well. Anyways, come out of here. We've got the stairs again. So hopefully you can kind of figure out where we are. And if we go back down at stairs, I just wanted to show you quickly like the front entrance and everything. Here's the couches, by the way. I said I'd show you. This is the deck outside. I just thought I'd come out here. So the outdoor deck. And then we have this like retaining wall area, which we've put the 
trees, like I said earlier, but we will put other plants there one day. You know, it's just about getting around to it. And here's like a closer look from the outside. And we've got tinted windows, which is cool. So a little bit more private, but if you go real close, you can still see it, of course. But I really like that touch and it looks really nice. It's like a black tint. Um, we didn't even know you could do that, to be honest, but there you go. And then if I show you out the front, you can kind of see how it's not super steep. It's hard to tell from this angle. And we've got a gate to get out here too, because we still own this part of the land. You can see on this angle that it's not just like a solid cliff. You know, heaps of people are like, oh, your house is like right on the edge of a cliff, but it's kind of a sloping hill. I don't know. <laughs> the land was all geo-engineered and blah, blah, blah. So technically it should be safe. But you know what? We could end up just rolling down the hill one day. You just never know. Um, anyways, there's how the house looks from that side, which is pretty cool. And then just to link up the spa area with the deck, we've done these like pavers and we've got little lights in the deck as well, which is pretty cool. So this is nice. And then this is where the spa will go again. I kind of showed you earlier. And then we've got a fence and everything. Um, we still need to move the spa here. Like I said, that's going to be a big job because they're heavy. Um, we've got some plants that are growing in. We'll probably put down some bark or rocks or something once we put a midwet. Midwet? <laughs> Oh my god, we met down. I can't even talk, dude. This video is so long. I've been doing this voiceover for like two hours. But she's not a bad view from the spa either. That was the idea. And I put it here so it was sheltered from the balcony above it. But it's such a high for <laughs> Like it's so high, I don't even know if it will be sheltered, but we can add more shelter later if it's really windy. Um, because you can get windy on top of hills, as you guys know, I'm sure. And here's a little preview from the front door. We've got double big doors and some cool slats, cedar lighting, like the whole shebang. It's beautiful. Hamish did such a good job too because he kind of communicated like how he wanted it to look from the outside and it just looks spectacular. He did such a good job. And then last but not least, here's a quick overview of the garage. And I think it's flash because we jibbed it in and we put carpet. I've never had carpet in my garage before. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this video was helpful and at the very least like entertaining if you're not interested in renovating or building your own home yet. And my next video will probably be us starting to put together this room or maybe the video after that I feel like it'll be a two or three part process so I'm really excited I've literally put up like two things on the shelves they'll probably move so if you have any ideas on where I can get really cute homewares in the meantime that we can like display in the background let me know and yeah once again thank you guys from the bottom of my heart I love you all so much and I'm wishing you all the best for this year bye <laughs>